welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are going to do a filming room tour. So the room that I'm in right now, I'm going to be showing you guys right right now. <laughs> I am moving. If you guys do not know that, I'm moving houses. If you want to see where I'm moving or you like moving vlogs, I have a vlog channel. I also just went to prom, so if you like to see like prom videos, check out that channel. Super exciting and fun. I'm now like obsessed with vlogging. So if you guys sell promo, like go check it out. I'll have it linked down below and in the card section. I thought I would do a filming room tour before I move. I did one a while ago when I first decorated this filming room. It's a little bit different than it was back then, but like a not, but it is. Also, I will be doing a house tour and a bedroom tour. Those are coming soon. I just thought I would get this one out first for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So here is what you see when you walk in. Here's like a little overview for you guys. So to the left is just the background that you guys see, and then to the right is what I see when I film. Right there is my little name thing that I usually have right there, but it's just in there for the moment. I had to clean this whole room, so I have like a ton of like tripods and stuff that's normally like chilling on the floor, just in this closet right here. I got the walls painted white in here and I think it's called Marshmallow or something. I got it from like Home Depot, I'm not really sure. It's so nice and so bright and it makes the videos look so nice. So I'm gonna start off with the background that you guys see. So this couch is actually like a pull-out bed kind of thing. It's not like one that you would see in a hotel. You can actually like push this part back and it'll turn into a bed. And my parents got it at Costco. All of my pillows are from Joann's, including those ones. And then this I got for my birthday. Both of the nightstands, they are the exact same. I got them from Target and they are so cute. I got what, is it called like a hexagon? But it has like wood and then gold because the theme for this room is gold and pink and white. And then I have this right here. These are flowers from Ikea. This is an Ikea vase. And then I just got some twine. And I wrapped it around the top and put a little bow on it because I thought that'd be super cute and add a nice little touch. These are lights I normally plug in right here, so boom. They're on, and I got these from Amazon. No idea where this blanket's from. My dog stepped on it and stained it, and it's kind of gross, not gonna lie. So starting off over here, my sister got me this, and I'm pretty sure it's from Target. And then these two are from Joann's. This room has not changed too much since my last one, but it has changed a teeny tiny bit. This right here, this is a normal frame from Ikea, and I took out the glass and everything in it, and then I put this K on it. I actually made this K in a nighttime routine, but I basically just spray painted it gold on the sides, and then I got a bunch of fake flowers, and I took them off the stem, and then I hot glued them all on here in a cute little way, and I think it's so cute. It's probably my favorite part of this whole room. I'm obsessed. And then as for these frames, what I did was, because I didn't want my studio lights to glare on them, I took the glass out of them. So these are all frames from Ikea, and then I basically, like I said, took the glass out, and I found all of these prints online that I really liked, so I just printed them out. I cropped them together, like these two originally were together. This one had like a different color background that I like edited and made it have the same background. I exposed things differently, like I changed them a little bit, so yeah, that's what I did there. This picture always bothers me right there because I cut it and I didn't cut it right, and so I always seem to like move it and it just bothers me a lot. This is from Ikea too, super cute, and so is this. I actually took some spray paint on a brush and I painted it on here, and I made that little KT13 right there, which I thought was so cute. This is from Joann's, and then this is from Ikea right there. That is my favorite picture right there of the whole wall. I love it so much, I think it's so cute. That was actually pretty much the inspiration for this whole room. That giant frame is from Ikea. This is from Joann's, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's not from Joann's, it's gonna be super awkward. And then this is from Ikea too. Right here, if you guys remember, when I first had this filming room, I had a bunch of pink and gold polka dots. And so here's four of them that I just put right there. Under the window, I took the glass out from the picture frames and I just taped them off and spray painted them and turned them into like little diamonds because I got bored one day. And I think they're cute and I was going to hang them and then I realized you can't hang glass. So... That's an issue. So here is what I see when I'm filming all my videos right here. So this chair is from Ikea. We just had this chair at my house. I've always wanted to get like an actual chair for this room, but that never happened. And then under there I have a TV because I wanted to turn that into a monitor. Just never happened. This desk is the Alex desk from Ikea. In this drawer I have like SD cards, batteries. I normally have these extension cords right there, but I cleaned it up to make it a little bit nicer. This drawer, I'm not actually sure if I, should I show you? I'm not gonna show you this drawer. This drawer I would show you, but it has every single like 
letter that anyone has ever sent to me and I don't want anyone's address to be shown. I also have some note, I'll show you. So that's over here, don't look at that, don't look at anyone's address. And then I have a bunch of notebooks and everything that I write down a bunch of video ideas and then I have a phone charger and then just Random stuff right here. Did I call this the Alex desk? I think it's the Mickey desk, my bad. And then on there I just have a mirror from Target. This is the Alex five drawer. I don't really know why I have it to be completely honest. I thought I needed it, but I really don't. I just have like random things in here. Like, I don't need, like, ta-da. Like it's not special or anything like that. A little Sephora thing, this thing that my friend gave me, some sticky notes, and then like a little owl from my room when it was blue themed. And then I have this little thing. It's basically just an entire thing filled with candy and gum, and I eat it occasionally, when actually a lot. A fuzzy blanket, and then some boxes. If I ever need to like set a camera on top of it, and I need like, you know, when you need to like move your camera up, I have like some boxes to set it on top of. So here is my studio lighting. I have a ring light. This is from Amazon. My camera, the Canon T4i, and then I have a Rode mic, and then my tripod, awesome tripod. Here's like the little brand of it. My studio lights are from Amazon as well. It came like a pack of all three of them and they came with a green screen. Really like them. They're awesome. They're not plugged in right now because all the cords are wrapped around it because I needed to make it look nice. I have them taped off so if I ever move them I know exactly where to put them back to. I have a TV there because I wanted to turn that into a monitor but that never ended up happening. Trash can. This is for the green screen that I've never used. And then I have some polka dots on the wall that I mean they don't look too nice, but it's it's fine. They're a nice little background if I want to hang something. I always have a tack here, so if I want to hang like a dress or something, that I can just have like polka dots in the background and have it look cute. My little VidCon badge right here. So here's my filming room. I hope you guys liked it and liked the little like sneak peek of what I see and what you see. So that was the end of my filming room tour. I hope that you guys liked it and let me know what you guys think I should do with my new filming room because my background will be completely different because the room is a lot smaller than this one, so I won't have like space for this giant couch in there. I did buy some stuff my new filming room so if you want to see what it is check out my vlog channel hopefully i vlogged with it if not and that's really awkward i hope you guys liked my filming room tour and if you guys have any ideas for my new one let me know and i will see you in my next video bye